So yeah, I know I said I was done with the intro series for now, but I'm a dirty liar, and realized there's still quite a handful of terms I hadn't gone over in part 4 of the series that are absolutely worth knowing. So let's start Terminology Part 2. A Shoto is any character with a moveset akin to that of Ryu and Ken, typically defined as having a fireball, an anti-air move, and a special that moves the character forward in a significant fashion. Strangely, the term is based on Shotokan, a form of karate which isn't at all akin to Ryu's actual style, and Satsuken. A grappler is a character whose core offense is defined by their command grabs. Zangief is the archetypical grappler, pretty much defining the style. Other Street Fighter V grapplers include Armika and Laura, while Birdie stands as a bit of a hybrid grappler thanks to his more versatile offensive options. Even though characters like Vega and Nikali have command grabs, they aren't true grapplers, as the majority of their offense is not defined by these command grabs. Rushdown is a style of playing entirely focused on fast, high-pressure offense that can leave your opponent with very few windows to counter with offense of their own. This form of play and the characters associated with it, for example, Kami, is often considered high risk. These characters are typically glass cannons and have fantastic offensive potential, but they can be left wide open once a small mistake is made. Zoning is a style of fighting from longer range meant to force your opponent into unfavorable positions that you can then punish. This way of fighting is often dependent upon the use of many fireballs to keep your opponent at range, giving you space and time to react to any offense they may attempt. Zoning is a bit rarer in Street Fighter V thanks to the multitude of V skills and special moves available that are strong against fireballs, but it is nonetheless a style some characters use and can use well, such as Fong or Dalsim. Bread and Butter Combos, or B&Bs for short, are a character's one or two combos that are considered an absolute necessity to play the character at a competent level. These combos are usually simple to pull off and meant to be viable in all situations. A normal is simply one of your character's basic moves, like medium kick or heavy punch, performed with a single press of a button without need for special move inputs. A poke is a normal used at mid-range to attempt to catch your opponent in the startup or recovery of a normal of their own. These are often fast normals that can be cancelled into another move for maximum damage and pressure potential. Hit confirming is an important aspect of safe offensive play. A hit confirm is a move or series of moves used to give you time to react to whether or not your combo is safe to continue with. For example, Chun Li can hit confirm her bread and butter combo by linking crouching light punch into standing medium punch, giving you time to check whether or not the opponent has blocked. If the first two moves hit, your damage potential is there. If they've blocked, you can change up your offense or get out safely rather than wasting resources on a blocking opponent. The core of a good ground game in Street Fighter, playing footsies is the term used for your mid-ranged fighting. At this range, the battle focuses on use of far-reaching normals and pokes to outmaneuver your opponent. 
While you typically won't be able to pull off big combos from this range, a good footsies game can give you an early health advantage that will eventually force your opponent into taking risks to try to win back the health lead. Target combos are character-specific combos that can be done without worrying about the stringent timing of your button presses for linking the moves together. In target combos, the normals are not linked, but are instead defined as being chained together. As these combos are incredibly simple to pull off with even the sloppiest execution. Negative Edge is a mechanic associated with special moves where a special move can be executed with the release of a button rather than the actual press of it. For example, if one holds down one of Ryu's punch buttons, you can then input the motion for a Hadoken and release that punch button in order to execute the move. Yomi is a Japanese term which essentially means mind reading. It is the ability to either read the flow of a fight or to entice your opponent into specific actions in such a way that you can predict what your opponent will do next. You will often hear this called a hard read. And that brings us to the end of Terminology Part 2. Thanks again for watching everybody, this has been Scan with GLHF TV.